The Wisconsin primary results could have huge implications in the race for the White House. In particular, many are watching to see how a rough week of campaigning might impact Trump supporters. Candace McCowan joins us now live. And Candace, the Trump campaign is still painting a positive picture of what is expected to be a loss for him tonight. They are. Good evening, Jen. Uh, the Trump campaign is saying that all along Donald Trump was expected to lose the Wisconsin primary and that last week's controversies have nothing to do with tonight's performance. Well, clearly, Donald Trump had a very bad week last week. He hopes not to have a bad month. If polls prove correct, many pundits will tell you that there will be no winning for Donald Trump tonight. But Florida Trump campaign co-chair Joe Gruters tells me even in a loss, Trump can continue to win. We've already projected that, it, we, that Donald Trump is going to win zero delegates. So if D Donald Trump wins a single delegate, it makes it mathematically impossible for Ted Cruz to win this race. Really, uh, all the pressure's on Ted Cruz. Despite the number of delegates, Wisconsin might be all about momentum. Did the arrest of Trump's campaign manager, his comments about punishing women for abortions, and nuclear weapons change the tide? I think Donald Trump, over six months into an active presidential campaign, should have the answer to some basic questions like your position on abortion. And I think he learned uh, sometimes, you know, Donald can be a little, let's say, casual or careless. Did you find yourself uh, defending him a lot last week? Absolutely not, because like I said, Donald Trump is a man on a mission. He's here to create jobs. He's going to do everything he can to help average working class Americans. Supporters acknowledging they want to get back to Trump's message. It's not just tonight, but what happens in the coming days that will determine if Trump even once in a while feels punishment. You get a real measure of a person, and it's when you see what they do when they're on the mat, how they come back from adversity. This could be one of those moments for Donald Trump. And after tonight, there are two more weeks until the next primary, which is in New York, where Donald Trump leads by double digits. His campaign telling me that this is just one state and this process will go on for several more months. Jen? Candace, I find it pretty interesting that we've seen a different Trump in the past few days, a guy who's actually offered some apologies. Yeah, absolutely. And pundits say that we will actually probably see him tighten it up a little bit in the coming weeks. Jen? Remains to be seen. Thank you. Candace McCowan reporting live for us tonight. Thanks, Candace.